Uh, topic, the next topic, underrated or overrated? Electronic arts. <laughs> wow. Mean, this this uh, a, a video game publishing behemoth in electronic arts. Are they overrated or underrated? I'll They're start so this one off. I'll start okay. this one off. Um, I would easily say this company is the most hated company, right? Yep. So sure. that's why I got to say they're a little bit underrated, but it's not make them a good company. It does not make their games good. It's just they have such a reputation as the worst company possible. And in so many aspects, they do fit that. But they do publish quite a few good slash unique games like David's favorite game of all time is an EA game, right? I don't know if yeah, it's your favorite, but it's an EA game, you know? Um, Jedi Fallen Order, EA game, you know, they Titanfall 2, one of Jeremy's favorite EA game. Now, you might say this is by accident, or they just got one decent team, but like, I, I don't know, they do some stuff okay, and when you're that perceived as that vile and low, there's nothing to, to do but look up, you know? So, underrated, but not saying they're great. David, definitely overrated. <laughs> definitely yeah. overrated. Yeah. So while that you do make a point, Corey, it's just like they're that company that you don't want to deal with, but you know they put out good work. And that sucks. Like I just they're and they you said they're a big behemoth of a company, so of course, you know, going with them is a decent general plan. But they're they're just scum. Like a recent <laughs> thing happened with EA is there's a huge, huge 40 team tournament for Apex happening in Sweden, I think, if I remember correctly. And they originally weren't gonna pay for all of the teams, the like the flights and the stay, whatever. It was only half the teams. And then a whole big uproar and they're like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll pay for everybody. Like, why does a company that big with that much money have to skimp out with not helping everybody that's going to be in that tournament, and not only half of the people? Mm. So, and, and just, I just, I just hate hearing that name. It just irks me. EA, like, I don't, you, you don't see that when you play Apex or you know anything. <laughs> where you, on. I, you don't see it. I don't think about it. But yeah, it, they're they're overrated. Like if someone can just take them out, it'd be great. Legally, speaking. <laughs> now, here here's the here's the here's the problem. It's it says EA. Now, if it said Prince EA, I would say overrated. But it's just EA Electronic Arts. And unfortunately, I think they're underrated. And here's here's why. <laughs> here's why. Okay. Um. EA is one of the only like larger publishers that will um, more consistently put out different or interesting or unique games. So Activision will give you Call of Duty. End. Yes. Um, <laughs> Ubis Ubisoft will give you Assassin's Creed or some variation of a game that's a Ubisoft game. That all they all generally mechanically kind of work the same. End, right? EA will, yeah, they'll give you Jedi Fallen Order, but then they'll also give you Unravel Two, or A Way Out, or um, you know other types of games like that. I'm trying to think. Uh, isn't Did um, they do Dodge City or whatever the dodgeball one's called? Knockout City, yeah. Knockout, Knockout City, City. Yeah. but wasn't It Takes Two also an EA product? I, I don't know. I'm not sure myself. Um, so like you know, EA will give you these these those types of games, and also what I'm thinking back on like previous older games, games games that are my favorites, like Freedom Fighters and stuff like that. Those were EA published games. You know, and, and yeah, it takes two was EA. So like those other companies aren't giving you games like that. And so as much as I hate EA as a company and as much as I hate the, the franchises they put out every year with the FIFAs and the Maddens and all of those, they do have this other little, you know, tan, you know, part over here. Right. 
It wasn't until recently Battlefield was pretty decent. Right. And so, you know, I think EA generally underrated. And and just to clarify, the only reason they're underrated, I think, by me and Jeremy is because everyone hates them. And, and pretty yeah. much rightfully so. Like, if this was like a beloved company and like, hey, EA is the best. No, they are overrated because they're not the best. They do so many horrible. But people know they're horrible. So it's yeah. like uh, probably a little underrated. Yeah, people will hate EA more than the Ubisoft or an Activision when – from a game production wise or publishing wise, EA puts out better content. And from as far as we can tell, EA has a much healthier corporate culture. Right, right. So, <laughs> you know.